Okay, so this is a 22 millimeter. I've popped the uh, cotter pin out. And judging by the looks of this bottom one, I'd say the bottom one hasn't been replaced. I can't for the life of me understand why somebody would do the top one and not the bottom one, except for a shop. Um, but these things are only 15 bucks a piece. I mean, you know, 30 at the most if you buy good ones, you know. So if you're going through all this effort, you know, do them both. Uh, if you're paying a shop, they're probably going to charge you the job for both, which is uh, ridiculous. So 22 millimeter, I'm going to use the impact wrench on this bottom one. Okay, now we're going to use a pickle fork kick and uh, try to separate this ball joint again. Alright, so this is why we unhooked the ABS sensor because this whole assembly here is coming off, I hope. I had to use a little gentle persuasion on the uh, axle. But there it is. Okay. So now we need to remove these bolts here. And again, they may be rivets. I don't know. They were bolts on my other side. Um, uh, I assume they could be rivets on the uh, original, on the OEM install. But again, this is a 2,000, 126,000 miles. It's probably had some ball joints. But this one here, uh, this one was bad. So it's pretty sloppy. All right, I'm going to get the right sockets and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of wire here to hold this axle up. Obviously, I don't want to take wire and, you know, cut into this this uh, CV boot. So, so up until now, everything's been metric. Uh, these bolts here appear to be a half an inch. Or at least a half inch fits them better than a... 13 millimeter and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to use the impact wrench here just I don't again I don't care if these snap or not because uh, we're replacing them so can't really seem to get the box end on there so I'm going to try the open end Okay, so far so good. All three nuts are in the socket. Let's see if we can get this one on. Nope. Ah! Alright, and that one came off too. So we're in good luck. Good shape. I'm going to knock these out. We're going to remove this ball joint here. You can see it's already loose. There we go. I'm going to grab the new ball joint, clean this up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put the grease circ in because it's easier to do now and tighten down. And uh, for that reason, I'm also going to put the bolts uh, with the head up and the threads down on these. There are no washers. And uh, on the upper and the lower, take a look at the nuts. They're kind of like lock nuts, um, and there's a little bit of a taper on the lock side. So if you want to finger thread these things on here, you've got to go with the flat side first. And then thread till you feel it tighten up. And then you'll have to use uh, wrenches or ratchets or something. But if you're trying to thread them and that uh, tapered side is uh, toward the threads first, you're going to have a hard time. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, finger tightened. And then we'll tighten them down with ratchets and we'll keep going. So this whole steering knuckle here, I didn't mention, and I'll probably go back and make an annotation, that these 18 millimeter bolts might be easier to get out if you don't have an impact wrench while this whole steering knuckle is mounted to the ball joints. But because I'm using an impact wrench today, these 18 millimeter bolts are going to be much easier to remove with uh, the thing laying on the ground. Um, if I used an impact wrench while it was mounted, I'd risk you know damaging the CV boot. I don't think I'd get all three of them anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. but. 
Uh, if you're using you know, a ratchet and a pipe or just a ratchet, you might want to do this before you get the whole thing out. All right, now I need to give these a little uh, gentle tap here. Uh, you might want to use a board or something to protect this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a couple of whacks and see if the thing comes loose. Okay, so you can see uh, I have the uh, hub assembly out and the backing plate and I'm not following my own advice because I said if there's any parts that should be replaced you want to do it now and I should be replacing this back plate now um, so take a look at yours before you do this and buy it it's cheap enough and you're taking it apart anyways alright let's uh, start putting this thing back together